The Rock. Like Dwayne Johnson? No fuckhead, the movie. The one with Sean Connery. Oh, and Nicolas Cage. Yes. Classic movie. That movie is cinematic gold, like the best San Francisco car chase ever. Seriously, dude. How are they? Summer was a fucked up love for both of us. <laughs> yeah, January wasn't a whole lot better. Valentine's Day was fucking brutal. I've been writing like a madman. Just confronted with everything I've lost all the time. So. Cause like I did love him. He was confused and you don't need confused. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't make it hurt any less. How are things with Jeremy? He should be getting here soon, right? No, he's a friend. With the play and the confusion, I, mean, I, I can't. So, distractions it is. Okay, fuckers. <laughs> Dude, you are getting good at that. Yes, I am. All right. I got the movies you asked for. Um, I realize I've not seen a single one of these movies, but whatever. Blockbuster Fridays. What is the plan? Plans are for people who don't know how to live in the moment. The only thing on my schedule is our cast read tonight. Studio theater should be ready for us. It's weird, the last time I was there, it was like a blank canvas, totally empty. That's how it's always gonna be in my mind. That's right, you start rehearsal today. Yeah, it's just a table read, so barely sticking the tip in. But yes, Joe, the crazy world of Damien meets the stage tonight. I can't wait, man. At least I know our and Rachel's acid drip is going to look great on stage. <laughs> Orange pies! <laughs> I loved her. I fucking loved her. It's going to be weird watching us on stage. <laughs> At least you don't have to relive your actual breakup on stage. It's kind of your choice, though. Have you, what'd she say? She told me after you left. <laughs> that bitch sure knows how to kill a mood. Dude, do not call her a bitch. Fuck. It was all so sudden. And the ride back was silent. She just sat there in silence. We were at the Blackberry Grove. Get some breakfast, pancakes, waffles, you know? Fuck, Rachel! I loved you. Love you. What happened to we will be together forever? I thought I loved you too. Was Damien right? Was it just the fucking around behind Kevin's back that made us? I don't know. Well, I knew. What am I supposed to do with an apartment, Rachel? Dude, that was supposed to be our home. I have to do what's best for me, Joe. I have to go to Calabasas. I'm gonna go 
go stay with my stepfather and sister. Typical! You run just like you ran from Kevin to me. You made the first move. That was my first mistake. Take me home. I have to wake up and start my new job tomorrow. I, sh I should have brought my truck. Damn, dude. That's super fucked up. Can we talk to her? We chatted on AOL. You talk to her? Yeah. And we don't need her, and we never have. He's right. It's a boy's day. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm starting to feel this acid kick in, so let's watch a movie before I forget what a movie is, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's what I can't wait for. Your show turned into a movie. Film is for hacks who don't know what art is. I will never sell out. Okay, so what movie are we gonna watch then? I don't give a shit. If it's on my list, it's gotta be good. All right, fuckers, to the cottage. This is when I realized that it wasn't just about me. That the secrets that I was keeping were for everyone. This is when I knew that the Gatsby party would be a tipping point. Because my life is just one long journey searching for that green light. I mean, the secrets that I'm keeping will only cause more pain. The secrets will come to the surface. Damien. Damien. Mm -hmm. Damien. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Clue? Oh, this acid's really starting to kick in. <laughs> yeah. Clue. Um, all I know is Frankenfurter's in it, man. I haven't seen it. So let's watch Clue then. All right, we're watching Clue. Let's get to it. We have to be at the theater by eight. Uh, I want to finish this. The colors, the smoke, they give me comfort. All right. How many shows have you done? A few. Oh, thank God. I thought we would be doing this play with a new bizarre lead. No, I've actually heard a little bit about Damien. He's supposed to be a bit unstable. Everyone says, though, if you want to get it, like really understand it, you have to do a show with him, so. Here I am. Yeah, he, he is something. <clears throat> So how did you get in? His shows are like cults, usually the same actors. I have auditioned for every show for the last two years, and now here I am. Jeremy, have you read this yet? No, I have not read it. Has anyone read this? Okay guys, I think Damien should be here soon, so if you need to use the bathroom now would be a good time. No time for pee. No you can hold it. In Eastern philosophy, it is exhaustion and pain that produce the best performers. We learn something new every day. 
This is it. The beginning of the journey. The last gasp. Close your scripts. Before we can learn to see the text, we must first learn to see each other. This is not going to be an easy show. It is a surrealist fuckfest of ego, love, pain, and painted truth. Now let's go around the room and introduce ourselves. I'm Damien. I've worked in the professional theater world for the last 10 years. My first was Tiny Tim. I've been to all sorts of theater schools, and I have left them all because they are all white asshats that do not understand me. I do not believe in art degrees because I believe that art is about discovery and degrees are about control. Yet here I am in a community college playing the game. You, tell me, who is Jake? Well, I have done tons of musicals with Starstruck, Aloni, the Douglas, you know, the usual. I actually saw you as Horton. Amazing. It was alright. So, musical theater guy, huh? It's gonna be hard for you to learn how to actually act. But it will be fun, I promise. Okay, who's next? Now open your scripts. I will read for Gabe for today. Claire will read for Joe, who has a chemistry thing. And Mags uh, will do the other parts that are gonna be played by extras and dancers. It looks like it's just a rehearsal for us too. Some are gonna need more work than others. This is a movement show. That was a good rehearsal. So tomorrow night, my pad, Gatsby Murder of Secrets Party. If you guys are better at naming parties, I can't go. <laughs> I can still come early if you need help. Well, Claire, that's a shame. Mags, you and Rick are getting the deco from Oakland and coming to my place, right? Lauren, let's say 10 a.m. Party starts at 1. Sounds good to me. You still gonna drive me home? Or did my incessant criticism of your acting and subtext make you hate me? Dude, shut the fuck up. Let's go. <clears throat> the secrets are cousins. It's not just about me, though, is it? 
Claire can't make it to the party, but why? Where is she hiding? Big fish. It's a great movie. It's all about storytelling. Smoke some weed. I have missed you. What did Jake want us? I'm talking to you. So we need to decorate this area for sure, and the backyard. Thanks for your help, by the way. No problem. You're good, by the way. I'm good? Yes, Damien. Like, you really get theater and how to tell the story. I mean, you were okay in high school when you directed 1984. The whole GW is Big Brother and Life Mice were a bit much, though. Well, thanks, Lauren. I'm glad you realized I'm good. Just take the compliment. I'm really happy to be doing this play. I'm happy to be here for you. What you're doing isn't easy, and I'm glad to be here. Well, it beats the hell out of sitting at home eating a pint of ice cream and worrying that you flunked out of Santa Barbara, huh? There he is. <laughs> here. <clears throat> Make this. Roaring. Uh, is someone gonna help me if I have to hold this crap? One more minute, I'm going to die. Let the melodrama begin. Would we expect any less? Uh, What's the matter, Scarlet? Uh, a long night with my mystery man. I forgot how good it is to give a nice fuck. Damien, do you have tape? Oh, I think I have some in this bag. I have to get more decorations out of my car. I'll be right here. Are you gonna help us? Of course the white girl calls me the help. I'll be there in a minute. I just need a little rest, darling. Has he said anything? No. Um, are we just gonna ignore the fact that he tried to kill himself? Like, what the fuck was that yesterday at rehearsal? We're literally watching what almost killed him being played out. He needs this, Max. What about Rachel just running away? Like, she's the only one that can really reach out to him during these times. He needs to go through his process. You just have to be there for him. I can't stop thinking about the day I told him. Whatever, let's just decorate and brace ourselves for the inevitable meltdown. I need a drink. Fucking cop this whole time. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Damien, 
When you refused to help our investigation, we didn't want to take the risk mm. on our only in on Coco and her father. Okay, so why tell me now? Things are getting bigger, Damien. You and your friends aren't just playing around anymore. It's time to cooperate or be ready to take on Coco and the DA at the same time. Let's not pussyfoot around here, Damien. Puerto Rican guys like you don't get off. Your friend Chris, maybe, but you'll be sitting in a cell writing about what the sun and the trees felt like. So you're either gonna help us and remain free, smoke, create your little art, or you'll be wishing you remembered what a joint tastes like huddled under a toilet. What do you want me to do? Keep doing what you're doing. When the time is right, be ready. And answer your fucking phone. What's wrong is that I'm no better than I was. This party... This party was about causing pain. Their secrets. To gloss over my secrets. And my lies and... My pain. Making them understand the pain that I go through daily. The pain of... pain of loving two people that I've lost. The pain of rejection, the pain of oppression, the pain. Making them feel what I feel so greatly. I'm not a fucking devil. I'm not just what they see. The world. My parents, my friends, his parents. They love the mask I put on to be accepted by them. Damien. Damien. Let's go. It gets better. The pain? It'll turn into appreciation. Should we cancel the party? Life's a party. Gatsby's all about life. Brother, help me up. I've fallen down. I'm glad you came. <clears throat> I told you I would. Um. You know, as I was saying last night, I don't think that you should blame yourself for what happened. Well, that's easy to say. Have you been to church lately? No, I quit. No point. But let's not dwell on the past. Let's shoot to the future. Some shrooms to get the day started. <laughs> Damien, are you doing shrooms without us? What kind of host party without us all yet? God damn. Oh, oh! You know your girl looks good! <laughs> what? 
Give me a shot. That's why I've been left here on the ground. Brother, help me up. I've fallen. Down. I said, give me a shot. Thanks for meeting me here. I did not want to be late for work. Anything for one of my best clients. No, you're not just my customer. We're friends, right? Yeah. And friends help friends out. This is pure MDMA. Be careful. Is Damien having a party? Uh, no, just a small gathering. Tell Damien I said hello. And that I may stop by later. You do, I'll see if I can pull cash out for an eight ball. If not, you can hit me back later. You know, I've always had an ice cream man fantasy. Shut up. I'm pissed I can't stay. Well, one of us has to work a real job. You want to hit? Nah, I have to get going. Here's the molly. Still don't get why you couldn't just get it. I'm trying to keep my distance. You got work tomorrow? Uh, actually, I have the next few days off. We should hang. I'm thinking you, me, and Rick. I'm trying to get back to the core, you know. Yeah, man, let's do it. I have to go. Night shift fucking sucks. And that whole free scoop for reading a book thing is stupid. Like, these kids need ice cream to get them to read Harry fucking Potter. Okay, now that everyone is here, we can finally start the game. What's with the obsession over a random game? Well, this game is a little bit different. I'm up for a little something different. We've all played assassins, right? Well, this game is called Secrets. Don't touch that. What are the rules uh, of this game? Well, sure, the rules are whatever Damien says they are. What type of secrets? The darkest ones. Ah, that's it. Another round of Damien Tells All. No! If you die before we know who the assassin is, you will tell a secret. And if it is not good enough, then I will say something that I know about that person. And we're gonna reveal your secrets to you, Damien? My secrets are an open book for the world to read. And if we don't wanna play? Then I will simply tell everything that I know about the person. This sounds more like blackmail than a game. Sounds like? I am not kidding. These secrets are what destroyed... Damien. What's wrong? What's wrong is that these secrets kill us! To show that I'm not fucking around, I will tell Claire's secret, since she did not bother to fucking show up. Claire has a kid! It was taken the fuck away, because she's a crack whore. Damien, what the fuck? Those are the rules. We will all have dice, and the people who roll the lowest will compete in a challenge. I know who the assassin is, and every round you will get a guess. This will be fun and there will be no more secrets among us. Let's get this game rolling. Damien's the murderer. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no, my dear Lauren. The murderer is a ghost. Dun, dun, dun! That, Nathaniel, is the spirit. We are all locked here in Gatsby's mansion. More like Gatsby's servants' quarters. This is fucking insane. <laughs> Our first victim has already been claimed. But this next challenge is for each and every one of you. Chris is still slave to scooping the 31 flavors. However, in his absence, he has given us a gift. Now this 
is some very pure molly. We are each going to take a molly shot. And that way, we will have fun during our experience. Yes, because MDMA is going to make all of this better. Is, is this okay? We literally just took mushrooms. You guys did shrooms? Yeah, we did mushrooms. Because I was too old for that group? I think we're too old for all of this shit. Uh, but fuck it. Light up the shot. white enough for the rest of the world. It matters. Okay, fuckers, let's do this. Did you tell him? Did I tell him we fucked? No. We talked about it. Okay, I get that it's not a bad attraction, but what does he know? What's going on over here? I need a distraction. Damien is telling everyone Fox's secrets because he isn't here. She should have told him. I gotta tell Joe. Thank you. I didn't know who else I could talk to. You could tell Joe. If I tell him, it's gonna be like, let's get married. I don't care if the baby's coming. It's... He loves you. And look, I don't care how mad I am at you. You're always welcome here. You don't have to leave. I need to leave. I need space. I have to make a decision. I support your right to choose. I'm fuck leave and hold your hand. But you need to tell Joe why you need to leave. Like you told Ben why you couldn't be with him. That's fucking different. If I told him about my feelings for Jeremy, he'd explode. It'd be worse than when I found out he had a girlfriend. You and Joe have been together for a long time. Yeah, but never, never really together. We're always sneaking around. Isn't that what you're doing right now? I don't know. Okay, fuckers! Next round! Damien. We're not gonna play. We want to help you. Help me? You didn't want to help me when you were tweaked out in that party in Hayward a year ago and walked past those guys raping me. 
Damien, just talk to us. I'm done. If you guys don't want to play, I don't want to fucking be here. And you need to find out from Rachel whether she still has your kid or not. Again, for letting me sleep in your car, by the way. I still have to go to Damien's to get my shit. I just did not want to go back with him out there. You know. Wish I could let you stay, but with the surprise visits. The county probably wouldn't be too happy with a 20 year old homeless gay kid living with you. Yeah. No, I, I get it. I'm trying to be a good mom. That's more than I can say for my mom. He messaged you? He hasn't spoken to anyone. I'm getting a little worried about it, actually. Chris and Rick will find him or he'll come home. He was in like the worst shape though, you know? Like, scary. And I thought I understood it from working on playing him. But that pain is so much deeper than any of us could understand. He lost so many loved, so many trusted, and he blames the breakup for it. He tells me things. I don't just get a soda. Can you drop me off at his too? For um, to go to work. And if he's not there, I'll just get my keys and go. I um, was not willing to take the risk of breaking into a home in the middle of night and CV to get them. That him? Mm, no. We're supposed to meet to go over the play. If there's still a play. Let's get breakfast before I drop you off.
tell me his darkest secrets. He told me he chose me. He said that he loved me. <laughs> and I threw that away. You didn't throw it away, you didn't know. I should have known. I loved him. And I couldn't look past him. Craigslist hookup to see that he was to see that he was the one. Can't change what's happened. Can't believe they didn't let him go to the memorial. After the ceremony, his family gave me his ashes. Said that they didn't want his sin in their house. I'm gonna give you two a minute. I'll be over there if you need me. I don't hate you. I never did. <clears throat> I was just, I was hurt that he wanted you. I loved him. <clears throat> he loved you. He told me, you know, the day after you two broke up, the day his parents kicked him out, he told me his biggest mistake was that he didn't fight enough for you. He loved you. I know that. He wanted to live with you and love you. You were his whole life. He, he wouldn't blame you. He, he told me He told me the day He told me that you two would fight forever to be together He said that he loved you the way he wished someone would love me. Was the service nice? <laughs> No, no, it was, it was hateful and hard to be at. Um, I had him cremated. It's 
family didn't even want his ashes in their house. <laughs> to corrupt his siblings. <laughs> Freshman year when we met, he always wanted to, he wanted to visit Italy, Paris. And the last time he spoke to me, the last day we spoke, he, he said he had a dream. He said, he saw you and him outside the Moulin Rouge. Yeah, but I'm probably only gonna have one glass. I'm waiting on the absinthe. Absinthe. The true drink of the artists. You know, Picasso, Van Gogh, and all those French artists drank absinthe. It's like the drink of Bohemia. What Yahoo search did you find that on? <laughs> Moulin Rouge. He said... We drank absinthe. The drink of the artists of the Rouge. Uh, I'm gonna take him with me this summer when I go abroad. That way he'll get to see everything he, he wanted to. But his heart... His heart will get to stay here home with you. I put a little bit of his ashes in this box so he could be with you. And he left a note. He left a note? Actually, he left both of us a note. Um, his parents didn't want to tell you, but I knew that you had to know. I haven't read it. I, I just know that reading mine it helped a lot. Uh, Damien, he would want us to live. He would want you to keep making art. He loved you. Every part unconditionally. You know what happened. Well, at least he's back. Told you. You love him? <laughs> you feel that. Deja vu? Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I get that all the time. I feel like deja vu is like that turning point, you know? It's like something telling you, hey, you've done this before. <laughs> and you fucked it up last time. Yeah, I love him. I don't know if I'm in love with him, though. I want him to be happy, but he did just lose Ben. 
Who the fuck are you calling me? Street kid. My guy. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one that lives out of his car. What? I was gonna tell you that myself. Yeah, but you didn't want me to rescue you? I still don't want you to rescue me. I'm not a rebound. I chose you. No. <laughs> no, because when, when Ben died, your grief chose him in isolation. And then for two weeks, I didn't hear anything from you. And that fucking email came and it was like, it was like nothing happened. Yeah, because that's the work that matters. That's what gives me purpose. Me wanting to be there for you didn't matter. I need a drink. Until he realizes that his love isn't fatal, he's not going to be able to love anyone. And you're scared. Yeah, I am scared. I'm scared that if I love him, <clears throat> I'll lose myself. I mean, he doesn't even know I'm homeless. And if he did, and he just had me move in, and I'd just be a replacement for Ben, and I want him to want me. I get it. This was nice, Jeremy. You know you don't have to just be friends with Max. Thank you, noted. <laughs> but um, really, thank you. Thank you for all this. See you at rehearsal. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground How can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces Somebody ought to come along and let you down If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart And leave you crying on the floor You let me down, I won't do this all again Even if I try, I can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet You let me down, I won't do this all again Even if I try can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes And no one lives without sin But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet now you're standing at my door Thinking that I'm gonna let you in But if you wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go But if you 
wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel my pain and know What it's like to be 